This is me, Dmitry Azovsky, precisely one year ago, in the year 2022, during the same month and season as the present day. In this particular scenario, my weight is 160 kilograms, which is equivalent to 360 pounds in the imperial system of measurement. Ah uh, yes, I was like that, and this is my transformation, which started exactly a year ago. The process of my transformation serves as an experiment. I deliberately gained this weight with the specific purpose of showing you how to quickly and effectively get rid of it. So let us proceed. Friends, a complete year has precisely passed since we embarked on this journey. In the year 2023, at present, it is the month of October and it is the morning for me. This is the current year and the time of day that I am experiencing at this moment. 7 in the morning and I want to inform you about my planned meals throughout the day in order to achieve weight loss. I desire to exhibit my diet regimen to you specifically emphasizing that I consistently maintain a calorie deficit each and every day without fail. In the AM, I consume protein and BCAA on an empty stomach for optimal nutrition and performance as part of my daily routine. And then I proceed to do cardio exercises which help me enhance my fitness level and improve my overall health and well-being. After consuming BCAA, I proceed to mix myself an additional portion of the drink for further replenishment. This is the beverage I'll consume when engaging in cardio exercises. I consistently ensure to dress in warm attire prior to starting my cardio routine. I wore a belt designed to make me look slimmer, and based on my experience, I highly recommend that you try wearing one too. I truly enjoy it, I am fortunate, I reside in a condominium, it is a wonderful place to live. I possess a diminutive gymnasium within the confines of my personal condominium, my dear acquaintances and companions, and I will be doing cardio there now. Besides the cardio zone, there is also a compact gym facility available in this location. There is a small piece of equipment. I come here occasionally when I feel like it. However, for the most part, I usually travel in my car to the spacious gymnasium, which is the largest in the area. So today I have cardio. I will do exactly 40 minutes. Occasionally I engage in 60 minute workout sessions and above all, it is crucial to monitor the cardiovascular pulse in order to ensure progress and optimize results. Your pulse should be at least 120 beats per minute. Then fat burning begins. So I have returned to my home and I have not consumed any food yet. Currently, I am in the process of removing my slimming belt which is soaked with sweat as it usually is. And most importantly, what is the crucial thing I need to do before having breakfast? The answer is simple, I drink collagen. Collagen is a really cool thing as it assists in maintaining the tone of your skin. Furthermore, if you're losing weight, you know your skin sags a bit due to the process. And if it weren't for collagen, my skin would sag very much. And so I advise many people, my students, to drink collagen on an empty stomach in the morning so after collagen, I have breakfast. And now, the most interesting part. Now, you will see what I eat while on a calorie deficit. On a daily basis, I consume an approximate range of 1,500 to 2,000 calories per day. And that is sufficient for me. I am losing a significant amount of weight. And when I was losing weight at a very rapid pace, I was losing one kilogram per day. Then my weight decelerated and somewhere I was already shedding 500 grams. So. What am I carrying out? For my breakfast, I have a total of seven eggs. However, only two of them are yolks. That's all there is to it. No more, no less. I cook everything in oil, despite the fact that it claims to have zero fat. There is a spray available that I highly recommend purchasing for this purpose. And then I consume oatmeal. Carbohydrates are a type of nutrient that is complex in nature. Make sure to purchase scales. I consistently measure out precisely 100 grams, pour the mixture with regular water and place it in the microwave 
for a duration of exactly three minutes. That's all. I don't utilize the stove for cooking, I solely rely on the microwave. My scrambled eggs are prepared and ready. If seven eggs are excessive, you can opt for five or choose to have four instead with no problem. Enjoy your delicious meal. Avocado is a good source of healthy fats, which are also crucial for our body's well-being. So my breakfast is ready, and now the most interesting part, oatmeal is tasteless. In order to enhance the flavor, I make it more or less delicious by adding protein as an ingredient to make it tastier. One is stingy 30G protein. Then, in addition, I also incorporate BCAA there. I am not adding this to have a greater amount of amino acids in my body, but rather to enhance the flavor of oatmeal and make it taste better. And that is the whole thing. This is my breakfast. In this meal, you can find about 50 grams of protein and roughly 100 grams of carbohydrates. By the way, I solely consume carbs in the morning. I no longer consume carbs during the day. I have completely eliminated carbs from my daytime diet. During my breakfast, I consume fish oil, which contains two capsules of beneficial fats that provide numerous health benefits. Additionally, I take a multi-complex of vitamins to ensure I meet my daily nutritional requirements and support my overall well-being. If you're eating now, enjoy your meal, friends. Without a doubt, gentlemen, oatmeal should only be consumed with protein, otherwise you simply won't be able to eat it, as it will be incredibly tasteless and unappetizing. Already verified. Well, at this moment I am consuming vitamins. By the way, today I am not going to the gym, as I have decided to take a day off and give my body some rest. And today, I want to demonstrate a home workout, as numerous individuals have reached out to me expressing their inability to go to the gym due to time constraints. And now I want to show you a classic home workout. What do you need? Buy two dumbbells and a bench press. That is it, nothing else is needed. Today we have bench press. Chest and shake your hands a little and in the end we will do abs. So the first exercise is dumbbell bench press. We typically do a total of four sets with each set consisting of 15 to 12 repetitions and that is sufficient, it is the bench press. Then we proceed to the vertical bench press, adjust the bench to a 45 degree angle, and exercise the upper portion of the chest. We perform identical actions for a total of four groups consisting of 15 to 12 repetitions. We do it with light weight because I understand that many of you have just started training, so we train with light weights in order to provide a suitable workout for beginners, then we additionally construct a bench at a 45 degree angle and perform the wiring in order to stretch our chest muscles. Also do 4 sets, 15, 12, well you can even do 10 repetitions, that's normal. Avoid doing an LT 10 reps for better results. Okay, we have finished with the chest and are now moving on to exercising our arms, specifically focusing on the biceps. We perform this activity in a seated position and alternate in lifting dumbbells during our turns. We perform a total of 4 sets with a range of 12 to 10 repetitions. We meticulously control each and every movement with utmost precision. Then we execute hammer curls while standing utilizing beads as weights, raising our hands alternately and also completing a total of 4 sets with 12, 10 repetitions each. We are finished here and ultimately I recommend that you purchase a wheel like this for the printing machine and we will do 4 approaches. I usually do 30, 20 repetitions but this exercise is actually very difficult. If you can do 10 reps, that's great. And of course, 20, 15 reps, 4 sets. 
I truly enjoy this exercise because it effectively targets and engages the entire core area of my body. Give it a try and you will experience how your abdominal muscles will be sore the following day. That is all. Therefore, I am going to have my second meal at this moment. Now you will discover what I am going to eat. At the moment, I cook all the products in a multi-cooker for a couple of individuals. I rarely consume fried food. And I also advise you, if you are trying to lose weight, to prepare all your meals in a multi-cooker using steam. So I possess a salad comprising of lettuce leaves, avocado, cherry tomatoes and spinach as the main ingredients in my meal. I possess turkey meat and I solely consume turkey because typical chicken breast has already become tedious for me. It is exceedingly dry and I am unable to consume it any longer. Therefore I recommend you to eat turkey. It is tender and very tasty. While my chicken breast is steaming in the multi-cooker, I am cutting lettuce leaves. I additionally include spinach in that location. Give it a try. It is extremely beneficial if an individual has not yet experienced it. I additionally include cherry tomatoes there. And then I incorporate avocado in that location and by the way, unquestionably, unquestionably need to add salt to it. Don't eat anything without salt. Many people give up salt, this is incorrect. The body necessitates salt. I additionally incorporate a small amount of dressing for the salad. A small quantity, he gives a sour expression. And that is the extent of it. By the way, I do not make use of olive oil. Cause I don't want to. Instead of olive oil, I use avocado. These are nutritious fats. The salad ends up being extremely, extremely flavorful. Give it a try. I spend the entire day making salad. I will have this salad for both lunch and dinner. It takes a lot of time and effort, but I enjoy the process. The freshness and flavors of the salad make it worth the wait. It's a satisfying and nutritious meal. So, my turkey breast is prepared and ready. Now I will proceed to cut it. Friends, it is most importantly crucial to have weighing scales at home. You should weigh your food. If you weigh it, you will know the amount you eat, and you will have everything under control. I have an incredibly tasty turkey. Now I will measure and determine the precise weight in grams that I need for my recipe. Exactly 200 grams. If it's too much for you, you can eat 180, 160, it will be fine. So I do not have any carbohydrates. I possess a total of 200 grams of chicken breast and a salad that I have just cooked and prepared for my meal. Enjoy your meal, pals, if you are currently having your food at this very moment in time. The third meal. I love them very much because I have 200 grams of shrimp for dinner. I have a deep affection for them. I possess either shrimp or fish, and I cherish both equally. There are two types of fish available today, salmon or tilapia. I have chosen to cook tilapia fish. Personally, I love shrimp the most because if there is salmon, it is very tasty when paired with rice. However, I don't eat rice now because it is not part of my diet, so shrimp is the most delicious option for me. Additionally, I always put 200 grams of shrimp in the salad and mix it well. The combination turns out to be very tasty and most importantly, it is a healthy choice for me due to its nutritional benefits. I add a small amount of salt to enhance the taste and that is all. My dinner is prepared and ready to be enjoyed. The meal that comes after the second one. And my dear friends, this is the meal that comes after the third one that I had earlier. Now, it is my fourth meal of the day. I consume casein protein prior to going to bed. This is a slow digesting protein that is absorbed gradually throughout the night while I am asleep. The stomach is not tense and I have no trouble sleeping. My sleep quality is excellent. And that is all. Four meals along with protein in the morning. I have a total of five meals every day. And this, my friends, is the daily ration that I consume. I would like to express my gratitude to all of you. Farewell.